complete calm and extreme tranquility reign here, except for the sweet natural sounds of raindrops, soft wind blowing, and the murmur of the river waters. Today's the fifth day camping by Amsfran River in the valley of Amsfran Mountain given the name, Cathedral, located in the Moroccan Middle Atlas region in North Africa. A place that gives you a sense of relaxation, security, confidence. A place that urges for meditation and total psychological comfort that leads to immediate positive thinking. The air is fresh and pure in the midst of a wild huge forest. It is yet, noticeably very cold at night and early in the morning. A sensation of fresh cold that reminds you of the nearby snowy mountains. Constant physical activity imposes itself to maintain an adequate amount of sufficient level of warmth. Most of the time, I resort to lighting a fire. Every morning, Abdul Kader's sisters bring me a loaf of local homemade bread baked in the traditional oven. They also bring back recharged power banks and sometimes they do me some errands from the local store. There are children from the nearby village who need revision and support in the French language, and this is certainly an irreplaceable opportunity for me to revise my weak grasp of Tamazit, the local language. There are people who visit me, Abdelkader's father is an example. We share cups of mint tea around the fire and we chat about various topics including children's upbringing and education challenges. In short, there is nothing here to disturb the clarity of the mind. There is no noise from roaring buses, no nervous careless motorcyclists, nor greedy pretentious, no uneducated pushy human beings with unrealistic expectations. There are no Machiavellian characters defending the dull meaningless social formalities, nor arrogance craving for money that fantasize about unreasonable social status, such as the type of people we find in rural big cities. person here does not need all those unnecessary merchandises the contemporary consumer civilization imposes on humans. We only need some sense of modesty and some kind of wisdom and ponder about the meaningful lives of our ancestors, those modest peasants and shepherds, who believed in simplicity of life and basic needs easiness, in order to reach the pinnacle of happiness, which is sleeping within each one of us. It is only a matter of choice. Happiness is certainly within all of us, but we make no real effort to reach for it, being busy running after the hallucinating desires that infiltrated in our brains with time through the powerful media. In fact, most of us end up carelessly killing happiness when we imitate others in the way they are looking for it. Hello, Mr. Hassan. 
كان وصفاء جينا الصباح بدينا كنجمعوا في الزبل اللي خلاو لينا واحد الناس حيتاش كيخيموا عندنا في المخيم دابا كنطلب من الناس اللي كيخيموا هنا الله يجازيكم بخير ما بقاش تسخو الدنيا حيتاش راه الطبيعه مهمه والا وسختوها شكون اللي غينقيها دنيت دنيت تنقاد دنيت دنيت Becoming slaves of consumerism and Machiavellianism, we limit the chances of encountering the right paths to happiness. By blindly imitating the others, we deliberately jump in the abyss of insecurity, drowning in all sorts of conflictual desires that carry nothing of what is called true happiness. Let's think for a while. Isn't life in its natural form much simpler and easier than what most of us were brought up to think? We just need to make a slight effort re-evaluating things, and clear our minds of unnecessary fake poisonous thoughts and beliefs. Let's get rid of those numerous acquired negative unnatural impulses. We need to explore more the various clean areas in our deep selves in search of altruism and spiritual balance and to return back to our genuine human nature. And to regain our lost true happiness. <laughs>